Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and it's Debsy and the place to be, it's Debsy. Boop, that's me, boop, Debsy. Hey guys and happy Tuesday. I hope everybody is having a great, uh, great start to the day and a wonderful week so far. I'm filming this actually on Labor Day, but you're seeing it on Tuesday. Let's hydrate. And if you're seeing this at six o'clock in the morning or at any time in the morning, then you know it's Motivational Mornings with me, Debsy. So let's get right into it. And I'm having a fabulous, fabulous Labor Day. I hope everybody else is. But let's get into this Tuesday Motivational Mornings. Okay, so the quote of the day comes from Elizabeth Scott. I don't think there's any relationship to Michael. Okay. So her quote is, when you stop trying to control things you have no control over, you free up a lot of energy to focus on things you do, which is 100% correct. I struggle with this all the time. I will, I will react, and a lot of times I will react um, badly or harshly to things that are outside of my control rather than focusing on the things that are within my control. So that's something I would like to highlight. That's a absolutely great quote. Okay, so today in pop culture history, now I ran this by my mom, by Dolly, and she was like, oh yes, I remember that show. So back in 1951, there was a show that started, it was called Search for Tomorrow. It was, they called it a serial, S-E-R-I-A-L, as opposed to the one that you eat, obviously. But it was a soap opera, and it premiered on CBS in 1951, and Dolly had said, oh yeah, it was on for 15 minutes. And I was like, 15 minutes? She's like, yes. It was for Search for Tomorrow from like 12.30 to 12.45 or something like that, and then after it was Guiding Light, and it was for 15 minutes. So it started off as a 15 minute show, and they did it live up until like 1967. And uh, Dolly had kept saying that the main character's name was Joanna Tate. So it was Joanna Tate and her husband, Arthur Tate. So I'm putting that in there. That, that fact right there came from Dolly. So the main character was Joanna Tate and her husband, Arthur Tate. So it aired until 1986 and it actually held the record for the longest running non-news program on TV until that record was broken by the Hallmark Hall of Fame TV specials. And if you're wondering how it got the, how it got the moniker of a soap opera? Well, it's because its sponsors made cleaning products and its sponsor was Procter & Gamble and Procter & Gamble's Joy and Spick and & Spam. So that's why it's called a soap opera. I thought, I thought that was so interesting. Okay, so a random fact of the day. This came to me, I get, um, I don't know how I started getting these, but I really do enjoy getting them. Um, when I when I look at them and I don't just automatically delete them, but it's from this website. I think it's called interestingfacts.com. So this random fact of the day came through, and the question was, what U.S. city? Like I guess this U.S. city has an official bird. Which U.S. city's official bird is a plastic flamingo? And it is Madison, Wisconsin. Madison, Wisconsin's official bird is a plastic flamingo. So the plastic flamingo, it first showed up in town on the campus of the University of Wisconsin, Madison in 1979. When students woke up one day and this, this hill on campus, Fascon Hill, it was like flooded. It was covered in pink flamingos. It was 1,008 pink flamingos. And it was just a, it was a prank. So then fast forward to 2009, when a local newspaper journalist had floated the idea, had pushed the idea of having the pink flamingo 
become the official bird for Madison, Wisconsin. Eventually, that vote made it to city council and they won 15 to four. And one of the city council members had made a comment to had made a comment to the four people that voted against it saying, if you don't have a little fun, life's not worth living. And now every year they recreate the prank to raise money for a fundraiser. So there we go. I thought that, I thought that was funny. I thought that was kind of interesting, kind of neat. Okay. So the celebrity birthdays born in 1965. I don't know that he's winning so much anymore. Winning was, um, is Charlie Sheen. He is 59. I don't know if it's all that tiger blood or what. Anyways, do you remember? All right. So then um, we have actor Garrett Hedlund. He's born in 1984. He is 39. You may remember him from films such as Troy. Troy, I think, had, I think that was the one with Brad Pitt and, was it Colin, mm, Colin Farrell? his name? Colin Farrell? Yeah, I think so. Wait, I was it? I absolutely know that Brad Pitt was in it. Anyways, and he was also in the, um, the movie Friday Night Lights. That was a good one. Um, Sean White turns 38 today. He was born in 1986. You know him from the Olympics. He is a five-time Olympian. He is a, he's a skateboarder, but he was in the Olympics for snowboarding. So he's a five-time Olympian. He's won gold three times, all time, um, each of those times in the um, half pipe in snowboarding. Okay, and lastly, we have a young actor, Jack Dylan Grazer. And Grazer, he's born in 2003, so he turns 21. You know him from the 2000, from the 2000, from the 2017 version of the movie It, and then its sequel. There we go. And the dad joke of the day. Here we go. I adopted a dog from a blacksmith. Wait, let's start over. So the dad joke of the day. I adopted a dog from a blacksmith. As soon as I brought him home, he made a bolt for the door. That's cute. I thought that was cute. Okay. So listen, um, we are, we just got to get through today. We'll have three days left. And then comes the weekend. So listen, if nobody told you yet today, you can do it, but if nobody told you yet today, you're loved, seen, and heard, please make sure that you put love, kindness, compassion, acceptance, hope, and positivity out there in the world so it comes right back at you. Please take care of one another. Also, please be aware of your surroundings at all times. Be safe. If it's hot where you're at, please, like if it is Satan's butt cheeks, then please hydrate, hydrate often with water. And if you're someplace where there's adverse weather or you're just in a situation that is not safe, please be smart, be mindful, and be safe. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.